Hi, my name is Dr. Keegan Duchesella. I'm the medical director of the Health Nucleus in San Diego, California. And let's talk about why late night eating is so bad for you. We've all done it. It's 10 p.m., you're exhausted after a long day, and you can't wait to sit on the couch and dig into some ice cream. It tastes so good, but you know deep down it's probably not the best for you. We all know that highly processed foods and refined sugars will spike your blood glucose levels. And while what you eat matters, when you eat could be just as important. Our metabolism actually changes throughout the day. If you give somebody the exact same meal for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you'd expect their blood sugar spikes to be the similar. But they're not. The lowest blood sugar spike is in the morning, and the highest is in the evening. Again, for the exact same meal and quantity of food. So what's going on at nighttime? It could be melatonin. In the evening, about two to three hours before our bedtime, our pineal gland secretes melatonin. Melatonin binds to receptors on the pancreas, telling the pancreas to stop secreting insulin. It essentially tells the pancreas to go to sleep. And if there's no insulin, your blood sugar stays high. This has implications not just for people with diabetes, but for all of you with just borderline elevated sugars. One study showed that people with high normal and borderline fasting blood glucose levels were associated with lower hippocampal volumes. The structures in the brain that are involved in cognition and memory, and we know that hippocampal atrophy or shrinking of this tissue is associated with certain neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's dementia. Just a quick note here, genetics plays a role as well. There is a variant of the MTNR1B gene that about a third of the population has that makes pancreatic cells more sensitive to the effects of melatonin, resulting in less insulin secretion and a higher blood sugar spike. Knowing you have this variant could make you even more vigilant about avoiding those late night snacks. So let's recap. Why is it so awful to eat late at night? Well, in the hours before you go to bed, your brain releases melatonin, which tells your pancreas to stop releasing insulin. That sugar in your bloodstream from the ice cream stays elevated, which over time is associated with hippocampal atrophy and a higher risk of Alzheimer's. So my recommendation, try to have your last food intake at least a few hours before you go to bed and before that natural increase in melatonin. And let's be honest, we make very poor decisions with our late night food selections anyways. No one's on the couch watching their favorite TV show with a big bowl of salad at 10 p.m. It just doesn't happen. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this segment on why you should avoid late night eating. References and links to some really good studies are down below. And I encourage you to subscribe if you're interested in learning more about precision medicine and optimizing your health. I'm Dr. Keegan Duchesella. Take care and be well.